Hey what's up guys it is Saints fan and welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Today I'm going to show you guys a pretty awesome glitch. If you came out to the live stream last night you would know I did uh, show you guys on there how to do this but this is the first person glitch and basically you get to see what your character sees in a first person point of view and it's actually a really easy glitch. So if you do enjoy this video and find it helpful definitely go ahead and leave a like on it. If we can get over 2000 likes that would be absolutely awesome. Also, quick reminder before we get into the video, later tonight at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, me, as well as a lot of other YouTubers are going to be live streaming with Rockstar on Twitch, so definitely make sure you come check that out. I'll make a video right before it happens, but still just letting you guys know. Anyway, getting into this glitch, so it's actually really easy like I said. What you're going to want to do is come over to the pier where the Ferris wheel is. Now, once you're in front of the Ferris wheel, you're going to want to go to the enter sign. Now, you're going to want to call the Ferris wheel when there is no, like, cart in the actual, uh, like, by the sign. You want to call it, as you see, you pay the $10 when there's nothing in front of the under sign. Then you walk away a little bit so it doesn't put you in, and it'll stop. Now, right there, you're going to see, for a brief moment, at the top left, it said press Y to get in. You're not actually going to press Y to get in. What you're going to do, like you saw, is go to the interaction menu and then kill yourself. But immediately after you kill yourself, you hold Y, so it doesn't actually do the animation for killing yourself, it just kills yourself automatically. And then pretty much from there, you just run back over here, you know, sometimes you'll spawn on the beach, sometimes you'll spawn on the, uh, you know, later, or down the pier. But either way, you just run back here, and we're going to run and get on the roller coaster. Now when we do get on the roller coaster, it, you're going to see it's going to glitch out and it's going to put us onto the ferris wheel because it kind of thinks that we're on the ferris wheel right now but then we're actually on the roller coaster and as you see it puts you in the screen where you can see both the ferris wheel and the roller coaster now from here this is very important you don't want to hit anything until you see at the bottom the roller coaster start moving once you see the roller coaster start moving then you can simply hit select once and it'll put you in this first person view inside of the ferris wheel and from here you're pretty much done it's just a waiting game at this point. All you need to do is wait for the roller coaster to get finished to go around the uh, the circle or around the tracks. And then as you're going to see when we come out, we are now in first person. Now, I will let you guys know it is really weird to uh, to go like, you know, running and everything. Uh, the, the controls obviously aren't, you know, the greatest. You know, if you slightly turn to your left, then you, you, the camera goes all crazy. I don't know. It, it's really weird. You do kind of get used to it after a while, but uh, it, it is definitely really odd. Also, you can't see your, like, arms or anything, which kind of sucks. But still, you know, I mean, this isn't a perfect glitch. You can get into cars with this. As you're going to see, I'm going to get in my Zentorno here. And uh, the one problem... <laughs> It's like you're uh, like a like a five year old trying to drive a car because you're so far down in the seat and and back in it that you can't really see too much, which kind of sucks. And like I said, since you can't see your arms, you know it, you're just driving with uh, without any arms and without anything actually steering the steering wheel. Now you can shoot with this glitch too. What you need to do to shoot is you need to get in a car and then hit X. Now, granted, I'm in passive mode while I did this glitch while I was recording it, but if you're on live stream, you know I actually end up killing uh, one of my friends with this. But So you gotta get in a car and then you hit X. Once you hit X, you pick whatever gun that you want, and then when you get out of the car, you'll actually have that gun in your hand and you can kill people. Now, aiming, that's super hard to do. Uh, maybe you guys can figure it out, but I it was so hard for me to aim. You can also punch people like, like normal. You're going to see here in a second, actually going into the water and swimming in first person is kind of cool. One thing that I noticed, and I don't know if it's 100%, but if you do die, normally you will still be in first person. It doesn't, like, cancel out the glitch, so you can still die. Although, I did die, like, five times in a row, and then it got rid of the glitch, so I don't know if there's a certain amount of, like, deaths that you can have. Also, you can hit select. Like, it's not going to do anything. All that's going to do is show a view of the Ferris wheel. And last but not least... This glitch, unfortunately, um, at least at this point, I don't know if anybody can figure out how to make it like last on the entire map, but it only lasts in like a certain radius to the roller coaster. Like if you drive away, then it'll put you back into third person. So if you are wondering how to get out of this glitch, just drive, you know, a couple blocks away and it should put you out in a third person. 
But anyway, that is it with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are going to have fun with this awesome first-person glitch. The founder will be linked in the description, by the way. Go check him out uh, if you want to. I know when I made that video a while back about that mod that was in first person, a lot of you guys were like, oh my god, how do I do this? Well now, if you don't have a JTAG, you can sort of do this with this glitch. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, like the video, again, share it, subscribe, all that stuff, and as always, it's your boy Saints Ben, I'm out. Peace.